Hello everyone, Amanda here. I'm just sharing some of my um, junk journal ideas. I've recently gotten into it, so I'm not a, um, an expert at all. Um, but I've been coming up with a few different ideas and this is the second one that I am managing to fill. I'm having awesome fun. My style is highly decorative rather than lots and lots of pages for actual journaling on. <gasps> they seem to be more for looking and flipping and secret little ideas. And one idea that I came up with is this, using this doiler here. Um, and I found these doilies in my, in my crafty hoard. Um, and I was going to use them as uh, a lot of us that do junk journals. You know, now I'm a junk journaler. <laughs> I've been doing it about two weeks. Um, <laughs> those of us that do like to, you know, partake. Let me just peel this one back. I often use these, you know, as fillers and they go in pages like so. But these, as you can see, this is a standard journal size. They're just too big. Uh, let me just zoom out a little bit. They're just a bit big. So it's like, okay, what am I going to do with these? So, I had a bit of a think and a bit of a play. And I come up with this idea and I'm going to be from from now on and there's one in this journal here which is not finished by, it's nowhere near finished. Um, I'm going to be adding one of these in every journal that I do was kind of like a signature. I know that sounds really pretentious but there you go. Um, <laughs> so what it's going to be is it's going to hold every time an inspirational card or quote that somebody can lift out so this is just one that i found from graphic 45 um uh i can't think of the name of it it's got all ladies in can't think of the name of it so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little envelope for it so you just fold in half and then in half so you've got the star shape okay and then what you do is you just literally fold the bottom up to the centre, maybe just a little bit higher than the centre, like so, and I'm doing it very much by eye. And then we're going to just fold that side into the middle. And what we're doing is we're just creating a little paper doily envelope, um, kind of. Okay, now that could be a tuck spot from there, but we're going to fold it over. And we are going to create a little, it's like a, a lace pocket, isn't it? It looks like lace, okay? And then that will open up and inside there will just be room for one of these little inspirational cards. That one will have to go that way. So I might have the envelope going that way then, okay? And what you can do, you can ink them and stamp them and you can do what you want with them. So let's have a look what we can do with this one. So I'll turn it over. I've got this stamp set here, which is called Very Vintage, and I'm actually going to stamp this vintage flower. Um, and I'm using, this is crumb cake, you can use any kind of ink, I suppose. Doesn't really matter. And I'm not even going to stamp it neatly, I'm just going to quite randomly stamp this floral and you could use any, this is a an old retired set um, that I just absolutely love and I did have it in my collection and then I must have gifted it and I've had to go and re-get re, re it one of my um, Stamping Up uh, friends kindly gifted it to me because I went yes I'm like no I need it <laughs> so what else can I stamp on there what have we got here we've got I've got one somewhere with some script so let me just have a quick look see if I can find it oh but I can't find it Oops. just trashing my craft my craft room uh, I can't think what it's called Oh, no, I've got one somewhere with script on, but I'll have to leave that for another day because I can't remember what it's called. They are all in alphabetical order. I don't know what it's called. Oh, no, what a wallet. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, where is it? Indoor shopping. Can I just little pigger? 
sheet music, picture perfect, perennial birthday. No, I can't find it, it's gone. Can't find it, don't know what I've done with it. Not to worry. <laughs> I'll have to edit that bit out now. <gasps> oh dear me. Right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to ink all around the edge of here. <sighs> Sorry for that, if you don't manage to edit that out, me wheeling around the craft room. <laughs> I sit on my chair and I push myself with my legs and launch myself around my craft room looking for things because everything's normally within reach but typical that one time I wanted that little set with the little script writing it's nowhere to be blooming seen not to worry um, so and what I'm also going to do is I am going to use um, so I'm distressing and I'm going to, you, you've got to be gentle because these doilies, you know, they are quite delicate. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't like sew two together to make it a little bit more sturdy, uh, I suppose. So I've got my little pattern there, just to add a bit of interest. And these um, doilies are very, very inexpensive. If you get them in the right places, don't go to craft shops for them. <laughs> Chad doing arm and a leg. Um, I think I've probably got these in the pound shop or in Asda or something like that. Um, if you buy paper dollars from craft shops, they're ever so pricey. But they are, they do tend to be a bit thicker. This is quite, quite delicate, but it's good enough for what I want it for. So that's that. And then... So then all you need to do is put your little card in, okay, and this card measures, let me, I think it's 4x3 most likely. Yeah, that's a 4x3 card and this doily measures all the way across, let's find a straight bit. It's about 9.5, okay. So then when you bob that in there and then you have got your little... Almost imagine it's a little lace handkerchief that you're hiding your little secret in. Um, it doesn't matter if it's not. And the whole idea of junk journals is that they're not perfect, so it doesn't matter if it's not symmetrical, but if it bothers you, you could make more effort to make it so. Okay, and although you can only see little bits of that stamping, it just, it just adds to it. Um, like so and then what I would do is I would attach that on the back or you could have it tucked in somewhere have I got a tuck spot let's have a look uh, you could have it tucked in uh, have I got anywhere with a pocket let's have a look let's see what I've got it's not finished yet so don't look we've got some pockets here um, it would fit in that in that pocket there or in the lower one Okay, but what I've done with mine is I've ha actually attached the whole thing to my journal. And before I've attached it, I've to make a closure, I have just added some, it's basically twine. It's, it's called linen thread, but it's basically just like uh, a very basic twine. And I've just literally put some on there like so and tied it in a knot. Um, I've got some other ideas that I'm going to be sharing. If any of these ideas have been shown before, it's highly likely they have. There's not many new ideas out there. Then, um, sorry if, if uh, you know, I don't want anybody to think that I'm copying them. <laughs> the only ladies that I've watched so far doing junk journaling is Yvonne Preston, Artie Mays and my friend Kay. <laughs> so unless they've done it. Um, I've probably subconsciously got this from Pinterest, if I'm honest. Um, so there we go. That is a little secret. Um, a little secret, what should we call it? A little secret inspirational tuck spot hideaway folding up doily thing. Eh? <laughs> but it's all just little ideas, isn't it, for on your journals. Uh, and the more variation that I can get to fill my books, the better. 
um, and I think that's really cute. So I hope that gives somebody some inspiration. Maybe you'd like to add that to your junk journal. Um, and uh, I've got some more ideas to share with you as, uh, as and when I manage to get some more filming done in between my work schedule. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll give that a try and I'll see you again soon. Bye.